Prime Minister Modi also, as we know, uh, is the latest coming in, as we know that he's interacted with those workers. But uh, we hear from very strong inter inside sources that Prime Minister Modi, who was overseeing that operation very closely, was keeping a hawk eye on all the live rescue mission. Uh, he turned emotional right after those workers were brought out. The entire cabinet, we believe, along with the Prime Minister, watched this rescue operation live. And as soon as those trapped workers were being e e uh, evacuated from that uh, region, the Prime Minister is said to have become a little emotional. As soon as labourers started coming out, we see well, the, our sources tell us that Prime Minister was with a bunch of cabinet ministers and he turned emotional uh, as he saw those workers finally out safe uh, and uh, unscathed. We should know that these workers, uh, they were trapped for 17 days. One can only imagine what kind of trauma they may have gone through in that very difficult conditions where the most sophisticated machinery finally failed. Uh, you had, uh, of course, uh, tense moments right to the fag end of that mission because all big machinery failed. Uh, finally, rescue teams had to turn to manual drilling and excavation to, uh, uh, to land in success. Palmi Sah joining us for more on that. Palmi, we know that the kind of technical glitches, the, the twists and turns this rescue mission, which ideally should have been straightforward, uh, had. And that, wa that was what led to, that, uh, to several uh, hurdles uh, before these se uh, tw 41 men were finally out safe. We believe Prime Minister Modi, after seeing the rescue mission happen successfully and when those workers were brought out, uh, he welled up as well, got a little emotional while he was seated with some of the cabinet ministers overseeing this operation. That's right. Uh, you know, Nabila, there was a cabinet meeting which was underway at the Prime Minister's residence yesterday. And this cabinet meeting was taking place uh, at about 8 p.m. onwards at his residence when, in fact... Uh We seem to have lost Palami's connection there. Uh, Palami Saha tells us that uh, the cabinet ministers along with Prime Minister uh, were seated watching this entire rescue operation pan out live. And while those rescue workers were brought out safely, we saw, uh, they, they said, they claimed that they saw the Prime Minister himself welling up. He became very emotional. And uh, right after, sure enough, Prime Minister dialed those uh, rescue workers and uh, spoke to those trapped members, gave them uh, all the courage and that pep talk that was needed. Uh, he, he lauded their grit, their courage, and, and all that, they, uh, th that, that kind of uh, faith that they imposed on the rescue teams as well, thanking them for being patient and calm uh, and really fighting through this. Well, the Prime Minister did speak with those workers and it happened late uh, to the night, last night. And those are the images on the left-hand side of uh, Prime Minister Modi speaking with those workers as well. But right before that call, we believe that moment when those workers were brought out, it was the Prime Minister who turned slightly emotional. Indeed, was a very personal mission for the Prime Minister as well. It's a BJP-governed state uh, as well. Pra Palami Saha is with us. Palami Uttarakhand, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami, uh, has thanked Prime Minister Modi multiple times for his efforts in coordinating between the teams and trying to sort of pace up this uh, evacuation process to get all of those public and private sector agencies to work in tandem and synchrony. It was the Prime Minister who... Uh, who, who finally was the main man trying to coordinate this rescue operation despite his busy schedule. So it was indeed personal to him in every sense. That's right. Uh, we, of course, uh, are hearing reports now that the Prime Minister, in fact, was watching this entire operation, the final moments of it, uh, live uh, as well, because... Uh, he was in a cabinet meeting at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, yesterday. It was happening at 7 Lok Kalyan Mark, his residence. Uh, it was a, a scheduled cabinet meeting, so all of his cabinet colleagues were there. But clearly, they were more engaged in finding out what's happening on the ground in Uttarkashi because we'd reached the finale moments of uh, that rescue operation around about the same time. In itself, just after age, if you remember, the news had uh, started trickling in that the first worker has been uh, removed from uh, the tunnel uh, site itself. So, uh, watching those uh, pictures uh, coming in on news channels uh, across, he was extremely emotional. Uh, like you rightly pointed out, the Prime Minister has been monitoring this rescue operation personally throughout every morning at about 7 a.m. He'd make a call to Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami in order to seek an update from him as far as this rescue operation was concerned. Remember, this 
despite him having a very busy schedule uh, campaigning in the poll bound states over the last couple of weeks uh, in Madhya Pradesh, in Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Telangana as well. But the Prime Minister would make an early morning call to the Chief Minister in order to seek an update. He of course sent his own emissaries on the ground, General B.K. Singh, who was stationed on the ground, camped on the ground to ensure that the centre's uh, you know, resources were pressed into action in coordination with the state to ensure that those trapped workers came out. And then, of course, he sent his uh, top officer in the Prime Minister's office, Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister, Dr. P.K. Mishra, visited the site as well on one day in order to ensure and oversee that operation uh, so that everything that was needed in terms of man and machinery was provided to the authorities on the ground who were planning this rescue operation. And the Prime Minister himself was involved and engaged in this rescue operation. He... You heard him, of course, uh, speak, uh, you know, to the rescued workers later in the night as well over the phone line. And he spoke to each one of them. And he did say that, you know, he was uh, a little emotional. Everyone was keeping their fingers crossed uh, in case uh, something untoward were to happen. They wouldn't have known how to emerge from that. Uh, they would have been heartbroken. But he's very glad to have heard their voices, to have seen uh, through TV images that they're safe, they're sound, they're healthy. And, um, you know, they are going to be back with their families now in order to find... And that, that would happen any time now, uh, Palmi. The good news is that the Chinook helicopter has carried those uh, workers, brought them to the Ames Hospital in Rishikesh. That full-body checkup is currently happening as I speak. Though I'm going to cut across to what happened last night, right after Prime Minister... Uh, right after that rescue operation ended, Prime Minister Modi, uh, a few hours later, dialed into... Uh, uh, to, to connect with those trapped workers who were out... And that conversation was quite emotional. In fact, the Prime Minister, we believe, uh, has lauded, and, and that's what we hear in that conversation as well, the Prime Minister has lauded those workers for showing grit and resilience in this, uh, through this mission.